Okay, so we're going to make a scale model of the layers of the Earth. Raise your hand and tell me, what do you think a scale model means? If you had to guess. What is a scale model? What do you think, Sebastian? Uh, that's a good guess. Not quite, though. Keegan, what do you think? It's the accurate size. Yeah, it's accurate sizes, okay? So I've got a picture of a model, a scale model with accurate sizes. Hold on. Next. Here we go. Oh, so are all the layers of the earth the same size? Call out for me. No, no they're not all the same size. Okay, so a scale model has the same size, the same proportions as the original. Check this out. This car has the same proportions as the actual car, right? So the steering wheel would be the same size in comparison to the wheels as the steering wheel is in comparison to these wheels, right? So it's all accurately sized. Same with this airplane. This model airplane is accurately sized, okay? And Chris Hemsworth... His little action figure is accurately sized. It looks like it's the same proportions of his face and his body and stuff. Kurt? That, uh, Bugatti. It's a Bugatti what? Chiron. Oh, very cool. Is that a fancy, expensive car? Nice. Okay. So we are going to make a scale model of the layers of the Earth so that the layers are proportional to each other. So the ones that are the thinnest are also the thinnest on our, on our model, and the ones that are the thickest in real life are also the thickest on our model. So what's the thickest layer of the earth? Raise your hand if you know. True. Mantle. Yeah, the mantle. So on our model, the mantle is also gonna be the thickest, okay? We have to do a little bit of math to figure that out, and that's what your tan paper is for. So I love that Vivian already wrote her name on her tan paper, that's awesome. Will you write your name on there as well? So we've got the original thickness of the layers of the earth in kilometers, and we have to do, divide it by a thousand, so that one centimeter on our model is gonna be the same as a thousand kilometers in real life. So let me switch over to my um, camera so that I can do the math with you guys, okay? So here's your tan paper. Go ahead and write your first and last name on there, okay? So for the crust, we need to do 70, because 70 kilometers is the actual thickness of the crust, right? Divided by a thousand. So on your Chromebook, you can turn your Chromebook back around for me. Pull up an online calculator. I know you guys have one. It's Desmos, I think, right? Do 70 divided by a thousand and raise your hand once you're ready to tell me the answer. 70 divided by a thousand. Kurt, what'd you get? Okay, will you guys please write that on the far right column of your tan paper? 0 0.07, but it's going to be 0 0.07 what? Raise your hand if you know. Brady. Awesome. Thanks, Brady. So instead of 70 kilometers, our scale model is going to have 0 0.07 centimeters because that's a smaller... That's a smaller distance that we can actually make in real life. Kilometers is too big, okay? Now go ahead and do the mantle for me. You need to do 2,900 divided by 1,000. Addie. Awesome. I like that Addie said centimeters. She didn't just say 2.9. She said 2.9 centimeters. Very good. That's going to be easier to do than 2,900 kilometers, right? Raise your hand, please, and tell me the next one. Carson. Awesome, thank you Carson. 2.2 centimeters, I like that he said centimeters on the end. And the last one, the inner core, how many centimeters is that gonna be? Alicia. Sweet, thank you Alicia, 1.2 centimeters. Now that you've used your calculators, will you turn your screens back around to face the front for me? Because I have some kind of tricky instructions to give you, okay? So this is gonna be the radius of our circle. Okay, a radius, you guys already have learned in math probably, is from the middle of the circle to the edge. That's a radius, okay? So we've got the instructions down here. Our first instructions, step one, are to measure the radius of the inner core in centimeters from the center of the circle. We're gonna use pink paper for our inner core, okay? So you're gonna get a little piece of pink paper, measure the radius from a dot in the middle of the pink paper, okay? Then you're gonna draw a circle around the center. Let me show you what I mean by that. Oh, and by the way, the inner core is at the bottom, so we're actually starting at the bottom. So if you can make a star by your inner core measurement to show you that that's where you're going to start, because sometimes people get confused. Sorry, I know it's fuzzy. Sometimes people get confused and try to start on the crust measurement, but we're starting on the inner core measurement, okay? Now I hope that it will refocus for me. Here's my little piece of pink paper. I'm going to start by making a little dot and so at some point on the pink paper. I might turn my light back on. 
Should we see if this works with the light on? There we go. Can you guys see that okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So put a dot in at some point on your pink paper, okay? And then you're going to measure out how much for the radius of the inner core. Call out for me. Thank you. I think that was Addie. Thanks, Addie. 1.2. So I'm going to start with my ruler on the centimeter side. Zero centimeters is going to be right there at the dot. Call out for me. Is it right to do this? No, because that's the edge of the ruler. It's not the zero. So I got to start at the zero. I got to measure out 1.2. Each of these little tiny lines is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc. Okay. So I'm going to do two of those tiny little lines, 1.2, and I'm going to make a mark. Okay. That's the radius. That's the thickness of my inner core. Now I have these cool little tools called compasses. Um, you can use these to draw a nice circle, okay? So you start by putting the little pin, the metal pin in the middle, and then you're gonna spin it around and the pencil is gonna draw a circle. I'm not very good at using these, so let me see if I can show you how. So I put the metal pin on the dot, I move the pencil exactly as far away as what I marked, then I'm gonna spin the paper around, whoops. I told you I'm not good at using these. And then it draws a circle for you. The important thing is, you need to leave the metal pin in the exact middle of the circle, okay? Whoops. Anyways, that's like pretty good, right? It's not perfect. But I left the metal pin in the middle, the center of the circle, and then I spun the page around to make a nice circle, okay? This one actually looks better. But anyways, then you're going to cut it out, and you're going to glue it on the yellow paper because yellow is going to be your outer core, okay? Now this part is important. This is the part that students always mess up on. After I cut this out, I'm going to glue that circle onto my yellow paper. Um, I don't have a pink circle cut out already, so let me just draw one. Let's pretend that I just glued the pink circle on right here, okay? Now I have to measure the radius of the outer core from the edge of the circle. This time it's not the middle. This time it's the edge, okay? So from the edge, I'm going to measure how much for the outer core. Call out for me. Thank you, Addie and Alicia, 2.2 centimeters. So from the edge of the outer core, I'm gonna measure out 2.2, so I'm gonna do put the zero on the edge, 2.2, so two little lines after that, after that two, okay? Now, to use my compass, this part's important, I can't put the metal thing of the compass on the edge, that won't work, that'll make a circle like right here, which won't work, okay? Can you guys see this still, are you good? Yeah, okay. So instead, I need to put a dot in the middle of my pink circle. I should still have a dot in the middle of my pink circle. I need to put the metal thing in the middle of the pink circle, and then I need to have it make a circle from there, okay? Nod or shake. Do you understand all these instructions? Okay, awesome. Do you have any questions before we start? Okay, so there's certain colors for each one. So you're going to use the pink paper for the inner core, the yellow paper for the outer core, and then blue for the mantle, and green for the crust, okay? Now the crust is super, super, super thin compared to the whole rest of the earth, okay? The crust in our model is gonna be 0 0.07 centimeters. Now guess what? 0 0.07 centimeters is not the same as seven little lines. These seven little lines would be 0.7. So 0 0.07 is smaller than the space between 0 and 0 0.1. Look at the space between 0 and 0 0.1. You see that? 0 0.07 is even smaller, even skinnier than that. So are you going to be able to see very much green on your model? Call out for me. No. You're going to see barely any green. You're going to cut it very, very, very thin. Okay? Do you have any questions about this before we start? Okay, cool. Let me pause this.